All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this video will be working on um, uh, on player and like the attacking for player. So yeah, I, recently I found this really cool nifty little thing where you just have this as a window, and so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm putting on my other screen so I can have more space. So yeah, uh, so far all we have is. Um, the player and the enemy, but we can't attack the enemy, which in this video we will. We do already have like an attacking feature um, already kind of implemented, um, but you can't really visualize that because there's nothing to be displayed on the screen. So, um, as you see here, we have attack down um, button, and it can be true, false, or whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna let that be visible to everybody. Or for everybody. So, um, you know what? I want this to be great. Just so we won't be conflicting with the sense of the enemy. So, uh, we have attack. And attack for me is spacebar. I don't know how you guys have that set up. But, yeah. I mean, you can have the attack on mouse button if you want. But I think mouse button would be another feature for another day. Uh, so we have wrecked. And this is where we uh, we have an entity. We already have a feature called hit bounce. So we're gonna use that, of course, for hitbox. No, not hitbox. But, you know, attacking box or anything. Uh, get pause dot get world bar uh, dot x plus the hit bounds offset because there's also offset for the hit bounds um, and then we need to do the y so it's basically the same thing but we just change it the uh, variables copy paste it and you can slide it and the Y. There we go. And still have two more to go. So hit bounds dot get um width. Alright. And hit bounds dot get height. Should be good. That should be it. Oh, but these things are probably are these things floats? They might be floats, yeah, no, they're floats. Set of ints. So yeah, weird. Why do we have it float? But whatever. Um. So if you go take a look at that, see that we make it, but then it kind of doesn't follow us around either. So that's also annoying. So it's probably something with entity. Yeah. So we make actually a new vector, new vector, but we don't want to do that. We want to have it the same vector as that, but then we can say hit bounds dot x offset, or we want to set it more like set the x offset and minus size. Actually, no, it's just size because we start it off on the right hand side, and I'm guessing, yeah, this is all it's all not right. <laughs> so if we're going that way, we need to go minus the size, divide that by 2, and if we're going left, oh wait, no, I got that backwards, um, 2, we want this to be just positive, and here we want the x to be 0, and I think the I think it's right. Let's go check that out. Yeah, there we go. So we got that down. Awesome. So now all we have to do is just have the enemy respond to that. If it's like, if it's been hit or not. Um, how are we going to check that? So that's a, that's a pretty good question. Um, 
So we do have the player passed in. And I guess we could just check whether the player hitbox is inside. Is hitbox the right word? I don't know. Anyways. Uh, so if you go to enemy. And if you have like an array list of enemies. That could suck. Just checking if... I guess we could say we check only if it's if the players attack the enemy. I mean that makes the most sense, right? So when you have an array list of enemies passed through the uh, update, I think I'm I think I'm okay with that actually. Hmm. Yeah. But for right now we have one enemy, so we just say enemy. And then here we can probably just put it here. So if hit bounds dot um what what was the what was the thing? It was uh, collides. Just collides. Okay. Bound dot collides. The enemy. Enemy dot get bounds. Then just say I then hit exclamation mark. And then we can go here. Doesn't say that it needs it, but we do need it. Because it's a player. If we just save it. That's weird. You should should need enemy. Oh, wait, why would we do that? So we do it like that. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I've been hit. Okay, we need, we need this, this guy to back off a bit. So, where's move? Where's move? Screw move. We're just gonna, we're testing. Ooh, okay, that's direct hit, but okay, hold on. What? It's not even on. Oh, because we're not attacking. Hold on. Go to player. And let's say attack. Um, and that. So now we're not attacking, so therefore we're not getting information that this is I've hit. Oh wait, hold on. That was perfect. But it doesn't register there. It's kinda stupid. Okay, that's clearly Okay, so I don't think this is completely correct. I have to go back and check if things are right. Um, do account for the offset. We'll be saying that it's divided by two. I don't know why we do that. I don't think that's necessary. Um, everything else is fine except for this. This is not right either. It should be. Shouldn't it be like B box dot get width or something? Uh, B box dot get height. Uh, yeah. And then the X offset. Yep. 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 Oh, we just we could just do W. Then why do we have it? Why do we have it public? Private. How is that possible then? <laughs> I 
is weird. Freaking private. Yeah, we can just do that. Nah, I don't think that's right. Get width and then get height. That's what we have. Let's get radius as well. I don't think we ever use that. All right, so let's see. All right. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Oops. Oh no. Come on. Oh, this is so hard. I should just probably just reduce the speed. It's quite easy to do. Okay, that looks good. Whew. Dude, I'm like one pixel away. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. All right. Oh, come on. All right, all right, that looks pretty good. Maybe I should just reduce the speed. So annoying. I'm reducing. Okay, let's just reduce the speed. All right, so freaking max speed is one. Oops, not thirteen. Let's not do. Let's not go crazy. I wonder if happens if it is thirteen. We'll, we'll try that later. Oh my gosh, one pixel like freaking. Dude, I think this is solid. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. But what about thirteen? I'm just gonna. Oh man, I'm really curious now. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. All right. Oh, dude. Super hard to control. Oh shoot! Oh no! Oh no, that that that's actually kind of wrong. Oh, are you? Is your velocity? Oh no, the velocity is like still there. I guess you need to like. That's actually good to know. Good thing that we did that. Um, what was the original? It was like three, right? So if you if you have fallen, then all the DX and stuff is gonna be zero. Um, DX, DX zero, and then DY is also equal to zero. Um, so let's do that again. Let's bump it up a bit, though. Go to twenty. No, oh my gosh. Oh. And there we go. And then like we're holding down D. Okay, so. Oh, shoot. <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't think we were actually going as fast as we can. Have you ever felt that way? I have. You guys flying. It's cool. It's cool. It's pretty cool. All right. Um, D, D, C. I wonder if we can mess with that a bit. Uh, what is it originally like? Kind of curious. It's just zero point three. Okay. Um, we get like zero point zero or not zero zero point one F, right? Yeah. Let's try that out. Override that. Man, three now just feels super slow. Like max speed of three. <laughs> it is kind of slow though. Let's see if we can just bump it up to four, but then reduce the deceleration. Oof. Man, it's like ice skating. Oh, shoot. That was close. So yeah, do what you will with that information. All right, I'm gonna mess around with this a bit more. <laughs> I'm always like doing that. But anyways, so I think we got hitbox down with the player, so now the player can attack the enemy. Next up, we're gonna do the enemy, and we do a couple other things as well. So until next time, thank you for watching everybody, and yeah.